we'll get started with them. Thank you all for coming. Coach Hazel is joined by CJ Malibu and Spencer Keaton. Well, another great win for us, and even though we didn't play as well as you like to on offense, uh, I thought uh, we came away with a big win. Makes us 8-0 in the conference, and that's never been done here before. 11-1 overall. I thought our defense played phenomenal throughout the whole course of the game and created some points and gave us short fields on the offense. And um, we scored enough points, obviously, offensively to, to keep the lead. And I thought we played pretty good special teams other than a few misfielded punts. I thought we flipped the field quite a few times, but uh, I think the biggest thing for me right now is just to, how proud I am of our football team and all the players and coaches in our locker room that keep battling no matter what the circumstances are. They always find a way to come out on the right side, and that uh, says a lot about their character and their, you know, their their attention to detail and those types of things. And you know, this is obviously a big week coming up, but we're going to enjoy this win and get back to work tomorrow. Coach, uh, seems like your team enjoys the pressure and just hmm. moves on. You know, it's it's funny to watch this this team all season long. They're very mature. Uh, they don't flinch. They don't panic, and they feed so well off of each other. And I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why. Oh yeah, we we like to come out hot, um, just all the time, uh, every game. Just set the pace, set the tone. Uh, Bring it to the uh, bring it to the offense, and uh, we did that. So. I know you guys obviously great start to the defense, but you guys I think held them uh, 11 34 to 326 in the first quarter. I mean, any thoughts of just getting tired out there? I mean, just because you guys were out there, even though you guys were in the lead, you just the defense was out there for the uh, I was always winded at times, definitely, but um, I mean, we just got to got to keep on trudging on and just keep fighting. That's our attitude. Spencer, can you talk about the touchdown pass to Eric? Uh, first, and I have one more question. Yeah, I mean, he did a great job at the top of his route of uh, giving a step to the outside on the safety. And um, I just saw I saw that they had two safety look, and the left safety was out a little bit more. And uh, once he gave that jab step, he got inside the safety, and I just let him a little inside, and he did a great job of setting it up. Spencer, you've been here four years. You, Luke, uh, Freddie, Kent, some of the others. Did you ever? when you came here, think that you would be in a position to play in a MAC championship game? I mean, we always hoped it and everything, but uh, Coach Hazel's done a great job of coming in here and changing the whole thing around. And our players, have, we've all responded really well. And uh, we just got we got to keep it going with these last two games. What do you put your finger on for that? Is there anything in particular? Is there a couple things? Is there... For the turnaround? I mean, <laughs> I don't well, really. Well, the turnaround with the second fingers. I mean, that's yeah. Like that. I really couldn't tell you. I mean, it's just our guys believing and uh, believing in what the coaches say and them giving us great game plans each week and um, just going out there every Saturday and not not thinking that we're down or too far down or anything like that and just knowing that we can come back any time. CJ, so, okay. when did you start to believe? When did you think this was all possible? Uh, when I first came here last year. <laughs> <laughs> did you know right away, though, just with these coaches? Yeah, I just uh, – there was a weird feeling. It's just things are changing around here. And uh, Coach Hazel came uh, first. Came he was talked about it's the people that are going to change this place. And uh, I just I hopped on the bus and believed it. Coach, could you could you talk about eight sacks for your team and zero sacks? Spencer got hit. Our defensive line, I thought, did a great job of beating single blocks up front and kept kept the pressure on those guys. And we brought some blitz. Didn't feel like we had to bring a whole lot of blitz, but I thought our guys on the edge and inside constantly were, even when they didn't get a sack, were nibbling at his feet. Uh, and, you know, we didn't give up a sack. Uh, we didn't throw it a whole lot. I, I haven't looked at the stats yet, but uh, I thought, you know, threw it 20 times. Um, I thought that uh, our guys protected well when we had to, when we had to throw it. They did do a good job of protecting well. Spencer, talk about the second half. Cross midfield numerous times and just couldn't get anything. In the past, you know, you could see teams kind of wilt when that would happen, and you guys didn't seem to have any of that. Yeah, I mean, we just tried to stay focused one play at a time, and we kept telling ourselves the next play, next series. I mean, we couldn't think about not having success the last couple drives, and um, we finally got a drive together. Um, we started, I don't know, with the 50 yard line or something, that touchdown drive, but. Um, 
I just kept telling the guys to stay focused and keep their energy up and try to make something happen. CJ, can you take us through the touchdown? Oh, hmm. man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a crazy play. From, it just happened so fast. I couldn't believe it. Uh, um, I was actually manned up on the, the backside tight end who was off the ball. And um, he just stayed in the block. So I looked at the quarterback, and I seen his, he was, I seen his eyes uh, towards the other side of the field. So I started just rolling over that way. And um, I, I just came up with the ball under the, uh, the other tight end. I was just, and um, I picked it. I was like, oh my gosh, I got the ball. <laughs> and then, and then um, started running up the field. And I, I saw Tettleton. He was, about, he was about to cut me off. So I, I waited for, there was two guys. I, I think Batten was one of them. And I think it was Sid Salter. And I just waited for them to, to clear him out. And I ran behind them. And luckily, I got in. Were you worried about the replay? Uh, no, I got the ball. I mean, our office, if I didn't make it, our office is going to make it. So I'm like, CJ, can you, you have some great leaders on your defense, Rosie, uh, Wallace, Sidney. But talk about Luke for a minute, your partner there in, in linebacker. He has had one phenomenal season. Can you yeah. talk about him, Oh, man, he's, he's great. He's always where he's supposed to be. He's just a terrific guy, uh, always doing uh, the extra things that it takes to, to be great studying film. Um, if he if he doesn't know something, he he makes sure he asks coach and uh, just any little thing he can get better at. He's always uh, willing to do that. And he's a great person. Was there anything specific you were trying to get done defensively? Uh, Blankenship is one of the is one of the best runners in the MAC, and he, he showed it again today. But was there anything you had to take to take away from them so it would be a one dimensional team? Yeah, it was just pretty much. Uh, yeah, he, Blankenship was good and. Uh, Containing Tettleton, he, he likes to get out the box, uh, especially to his right, and um, I think we did a good job of that and uh, uh, covered him when we need to, which allowed for the sacks, and uh, just grateful for all those guys. Just, can you, the forced fumble. Uh, forced fumble. First, first series of the game. That, that first one, that, that, that wallet return? That wallet yeah. return. Um, yeah. Did you strip it or did something? Uh, no, I, I actually just was going for the tackle, and it happened to be, to come out, so. Can't give me too much credit. Darrell, it almost seems anticlimactic in some way if, if three doesn't have a monster game. Hmm. Uh, what did Ohio do well to limit his opportunities in space? Or, or looking back, what offensively do you feel you didn't do well to, to make that possible for three? Well, you know, at first look, it it's appeared like we were not – they were dropping a safety in the box, the eight hat in the box, and we weren't accounted for that guy. And we were uh, – he was making the, the hit on the back side. And uh, we were – we were probably should have thrown it a little bit more when they were doing that, but we weren't. We were trying to run it. Um, but I thought they did a good job for putting that extra hat in the box. And, and we missed – we fell off a few blocks uh, that we should have sustained, but uh, I thought they did a good job. No. After he got hurt? No, not at all. No. What was it? What's ankle? that? Ankle. Mm-hmm. Coach, what about the – I'm sorry. What about the uh, tray He seemed even early on – yeah, we went with him, and uh, he's been out. He didn't finish the game last week, so I'm sure it's, he's tr- trying to feel his way a little bit, get back to a couple weeks ago. But uh, he'll be fine for next Friday. Coach, you talked, the players talked about when they started to believe what you were bringing to the table. When did you kind of get the sense of you know, what these guys could do? Talent-wise, when I first took the job, I knew these guys were very talented. And uh, you needed a few extra players here and there. But if you look in our locker room, and, and then we went out and got him and some other guys, it, we, there's the, the locker room was full of talent. Uh, now, the belief was not always there. Um, and paying attention to some of the specifics weren't always there, and those are things that you can correct. Uh, but I tell you, when I really got a gut feeling was our first day of camp on August the 2nd this year. when. We kind of put a, um, we turned the lights out, and we put on a, uh, a tape, and it was time, trying to do some visualization. We turned the lights back on, and it was a sense at that point in time that came across me that these guys, are, they, they, they get it. Uh, at, at that point in time, I felt pretty good. Do you remember that specifically? Do you remember what you were uh, Not exactly what was said, but after, I, just, I remember that. I, I remember I was hyped up. Do your seniors lead by example? Or Our seniors or are excellent. Or? They're both. They're excellent leaders. They, they really are. And uh, they're not afraid to, to tell guys that they're not doing it the right way. And 
Obviously, they play extremely hard. I can't be more proud of our guys. Spencer, can you reflect on the class of guys you came in with who are still here? Uh, pretty darn good group of guys, especially now that you're looking back in hindsight. Can you talk about them, Brian Jettis? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a couple of us um, that were that played as true freshmen, and uh, I know it's there's probably like seven of us. I know Freddie, um, Freddie Luke, winners. I can't remember everyone, but um, yeah, they've been, we've all done a great job and of leading the team and. Last year was disappointing, but we came back this this fall um, in fall camp and everything, just wanting to to finally turn this uh, whole program around. And uh, it just started with the first couple of games. I mean, all those all the guys that I just mentioned and you know, a couple more um, just started making plays and started leading the team. And uh, I think we we've done a good job of that. And we just got to finish. Hey, CJ, what's it like to get some of this national acclaim that you guys have been getting? I mean, uh, the folks back in Oceanside they know where Kent State is now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's it's good. Uh, but I, I try not to look at that so much. Uh, just focus on uh, focus on the team and just our journey, our destiny. Team one destiny. Does it really seem like a journey? Because, I mean, it seems like uh, uh, some of the Norman was saying that you guys really haven't looked back much at anything this year. Is that a big goal? I mean, we really have. It's tough to look back right now when you're in the middle of it. I mean, we got so much stuff going on just day in and day out with class and football and everything and. Um, it just adds on that we're winning now, and uh, we re we love it, and we just gotta keep it going. So we really, I mean, after the season, I'm sure we'll take a lot of time to reflect on it, but not now. Yeah, when that when that clock hits zero, we're all about Northern Illinois. <laughs> yeah. Real quick, how about playing your last game here for the seniors? You talk about how special. Yeah, I mean, it is special to get the win for the last one. I mean, I've been here four years. He's been here too, so it's it's a lot. It's a lot of investment in this place, and. Uh, it really means a lot to go out like that at, at Dick Stadium. And uh, we just appreciate everyone, all the players, coaches, and everything that um, for today's game and playing the, playing their butts off. So They gave us an attendance total, but they didn't give us a walk-up total, which they're working on. It, was, it had to be a pretty impressive walk-up. Yeah, I would think. I don't think they sold 18,000. They're still selling it. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, did you guys sense any of that? Yeah, I mean, I saw. Just, I was, I was really happy with how, how, how big of a crowd we had, just because of the situation and it being Thanksgiving and people wanting to be with their families. But we really appreciate appreciate our fans, and they've done a great job this year, showing up and showing great support. So, just a great turnout today. Thank you.